Hello everyone. I welcome you all on behalf of Dalsing Public School, Dalsing Colony Karnal in Inter Dalsing Symposium. Our school got the golden opportunity to explore the state of Kerala. So let's enjoy a trip to Kerala. Kerala was formed on 1st November 1956 by the Reorganization Act. The literary meaning of Kerala is the land of coconuts. The term Kerala was first epigraphically recorded as Ketelaputu in 3rd century BCE rock inscription by Emperor Ashok of Magan. It was mentioned as one of the four independent kingdoms in southern India during Ashoka's time, the others being the Cholas, Pandyas and the Satyaputras. Gods on country, Kerala. It is situated between Arabian Sea to the west and Western Ghats in the east. Kerala has an area of about 38,863 km square. It is one of the five states in the linguistic cultural area known as South India. The tree cover of Kerala is about 2,936 km square. Indian state Kerala has the borders with Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Arabian Sea. Kerala has a population of about 3.48 crores. The population of Kerala forms about 2.76% of India in 2011, whereas in 2001, the figure was 3.10%. It has main divisions of Hindus, Muslims, Christians, and these are the religions in the state. In Kerala, the administrative language is Malayalam, but Tulu, Kannad, Marathi, and Konkani are also spoken there. People of different religions, that is Hindus, Muslims, Christians, they all live together in peace and harmony in Kerala. The chief minister of Kerala is Pinarhi Vijayan, a member of Communist Party of India. He is head of Kerala since 25th May 2016. Shri Arif Muhammad Khan is currently governor of Kerala. He had also worked as public undertaking, home affairs and in foreign affairs. Kerala has the nation's largest politically aware population which actively participates in state politics. It is mainly dominated by two political fronts, Communist Party of India and Indian National Congress. As Kerala lies in the tropical region, it is mostly subjected to have a type of humid, tropical, wet climate. Kerala has a large variety of soils that is alluvial, saline, laterite and other soils. Namaskar. When we enjoy raindrops in Kerala, peace comes to you. When you hear birds singing in Kerala, peace comes to you. When you see fish swims in a clear water, peace comes to you. But why to visit Kerala? Because peace comes to you. When you hum while walking in the wood, then peace comes to you. And when you sit quietly, watching the sun rise and set and listening to the wave sings, then peace comes to you. Let peace comes to you in different ways. Let peace be with us all.
Historical Places of Kerala Historical Places in Kerala Named as one of the 10 paradises of the world, Kerala is known for long palm tree beaches and beautiful backwaters. But there are also many historical places in Kerala that are stunningly beautiful. So the first one is Mutton Cherry Palace. The Mutton Cherry Palace is a Portuguese palace popularly known as the Dutch Palace. Let's see the next one that is Muniara Dolmens. The Muniara Dolmens were a burial ground for the earliest inhabitants. Let's see the next one that is Valikunnu Beach. Valikunnu Beach is located in the Valikunnu Beach of Mallapuram district of Kerala. Next is Bekal Fort. Bekal Fort was built by Shivappa Nayaka of Kiladi in 1650 AD. Really, it is a very beautiful palace for tourism. Next is Edekal Caves. Edical caves in Kerala have drawn great attention of archaeologists and historians worldwide. Foods and Crops of Kerala Kerala, God's own country Kerala When we hear someone say Kerala, so many beautiful sights cross our mind. Kerala is a land of traditional dishes and its food crops. So let's see some major crops of Kerala that are rice, coconut, black pepper, ginger, cashew nut, banana, tea and cob crops of Kerala. So the first one is rice. Rice is the major and most important food crop grown in Kerala. Let's see the next one. That is coconut, another food crop of Kerala. Hopefully you like drinking coconut water. Kerala is known as the land of coconut. Kerala is a state full of spices and traditional dishes. So let's see a spice crop of Kerala. That is black pepper. Black pepper is really very good for our health. And Kerala accounts for a major portion of black pepper production in country. Banana, another fruit crop of Kerala. It's really a very healthy and a tasty fruit. Banana prefers tropical humid lowlands and is really very good in phosphorus. Let's see the next one. That is ginger, a spice crop of Kerala. Ginger is very good for our health and used in many medicinal purposes. Cashew nuts, a very healthy dry fruit crop grown in Kerala. Really, cashew nuts are very healthy and tasty dry fruits. Cashew is one of the few fruit crops normally grown from seed. Now let's see the next one that is tea, a beverage crop of Kerala. Tea requires hot and humid climate that it takes from Kerala soil. Let's see the next one. That is coffee, another beverage crop of Kerala. Hopefully you like drinking coffee. Kerala is the second largest producer of coffee in India. Staple food of Kerala. Let's see the staple food dishes of Kerala. Kerala food is all about generally hot and spicy. The food is traditionally eaten by hands and served in banana leaves. Let's see Kerala cuisine breakfast dish. So the first dish is done in Kerala in breakfast is puttu kadal. Puttu is one of the healthiest breakfasts of Kerala and it is a steamed rice cake. 
with coconut garnish. It is really very good for our health. So let's see the next one that is idiyappam with egg roast. Idiyappam or string hopper is one of the traditional breakfasts of Kerala. Let's see the next one that is dosa. Dosa is a rice pancake originating from South India and it is known as dosa in Tamil, dosa in Kannad and dosa in Malayalam. Dosa is commonly known as dosa in Kerala. It is made out of rice and uradda. Kerala food of Kerala. Let's start making a dish of Kerala that's appam and stew. So the ingredients are pigeon pea, uraddal, spices, veggie, boiled potatoes, sambar masala, mustard seeds and uncooked rice. Put pigeon pea and water into the bowl. Add veggies into it. Put all this better into the cooker. Now glow the stove. Open the cooker and stir it. Put pan on the stove. Put 2 to 3 spoons of oil into it. Sprinkle some mustard seeds and add dry chilies into it. Now put onions and tomato paste into it. Sprinkle turmeric powder and salt into it. Now stir it well. Put our masala of sambar into it. Mix it well. Now our stew is ready and let's start making with a pump. For a pump we have to take urad dal and rice. Now blend our dal, make it smooth paste. Now blend our paste. Now put our batter on the griddle. Spread it to all the sides. Put boiled potatoes paste on the appam and wrap the appam. Now our stew and appam is ready to be eaten. Hopefully you like this recipe and you all are going to try this today. Let's see Kerala cuisine, lunch and dinner dishes. First one is sadhya or sadhya. Sadhya is the traditional banquet of Kerala and is a vegetarian meal that is served with boiled rice and a host of side dishes. Let's see the second one that is baked tapioca dish. Tapioca is really a healthy dish that provides good carbohydrate food value and is really a very yummy dish. Dessert or sweet dishes of Kerala. Pallada payasam. The first dish of Kerala eaten in dessert is pallada payasam. Really a very tasty dish that is made with crunchy wormy celery, a rice in the milk and flavored with cardamom sugar and butter. Really, it smells like a good dish. Hopefully, you all are going to try this recipe today. So, the next one is banana halwa. A halwa that is made from the fruit of banana. Really, a very yummy dish. A sweet that melts in your mouth is nothing less than heaven. Hopefully, you all are going to try it today. <laughs>
The scientist is not the one who gives the right answers. He is the one who asks the right questions. Born in 1931, Dr. E.C.D. Sudarshan is awarded with Padma Bhushan and Padma Vibhushan Award. Born in 1918, Anamani is awarded with the Ramanathan Medal in 1986. Born in 1914, Professor M. Vijayan is awarded with the Padma Shri in 2004. Dr. K. Radha Krishnan Kupilla Radha Krishnan was born on 29 August 1949 in Irinjala Radha Krishnan joined Isro and was awarded with Padma Bhushan Award. Dr. E. D. James E. D. James was born on 31st October 1951 and he joined IISC and was awarded with Nobel Prize. Professor Yamuna Krishnan who was born on 25th May 1974. She is a recipient of the Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Prize. The next scientist is Dr. Tessie Thomas, who was born in April 1963, and she is the first ever woman scientist to head a missile project in India. When we talk about the life of scientists, we not only come to know about their achievements, but also we come to know about their hard work and struggle too. Every science begins with the philosophy. Professor Kiara Manthan, he was born on 28th Feb 1893. He was a recipient of the Padma Bhushan and the Padma Vibhushan and also the Aryabhatta Medal. Dr. Pisharath Rama Pisharathi. He was born on 1962 and considered to be the father of the remote sensing in India. Mary Varghese. She was born on 21st May 1925. In recognition of her contribution to the field of medicine, she was awarded the Padma Shri. A book named Take My Hands is also written describing her life of struggle, hard work and success. Kerala, the land of coconuts, spices and culture, is also much inclined towards education, literature, arts and sports. While tourism is much promoted in Kerala, sports also are loved by the people here as much as they love art and culture. Football and cricket remain the most popular sports in Kerala. Swimming and boat racing are a part of Kerala culture. We are talking about the famous sports personalities of Kerala. Olympian P.T. Usha is among the glowing stars of Indian athletes. She won many medals for her country and state, but couldn't win an Olympics medal unfortunately. She is still remembered as the woman athlete who lost her medal by a hundredth of a second time. She is still very much active in Carol Athletics with her Usha Schools of Athletics. I am Vijayan. He is one of the best footballer of his period. I am Vijayan with many legendary footballers of India had many achievements during his playing career. The Indian football team consisting of Vijayan conquered many heights in Asia football. He is still playing as a veteran player footballer for many small clubs in Kerala helping to increase football popularity among the masses. Shri Jesh Ravindran 
he is considered to be the one of the best hockey goalkeepers of the world at the time when hockey is losing its popularity in india swijesh hockey team had a good number of achievements to their name this includes the second place at the champions league hockey tournament to name a few these achievements are bringing people back to support our national game the practice of art is not to make a living it is to make your soul grow Kavita Balakrishnan was born on 1 June 1976 and she was awarded with Soviet Land Nehru Anand Raja Ravi Verma was an Indian painter and artist born on 29th April 1848 awarded for art and culture award sponsored by Kerala Lalit Kala Academy TK Padmini was an Indian painter from Kerala born on 2nd May 1940 she won her first honor from Lalit Kala Academy in 1963 the association of young painters and sculpture awarded her their annual award in 1965 Sesa Jos is an Indian contemporary artist living in Kochi Kerala Born in 23rd December The people and culture of Kerala Let us now tour to this land of heavenly abode and acquaint ourselves with the Keralites and their culture History of Kerala The present day state of Kerala was constituted on a linguistic basis in 1956 when the Malabar coast and the Kasaragod taluka of the South Kannada were added to Travancore Cochin People of Kerala The people of Kerala generally called Keralites are simple down to earth folks who like to live in their own world of simplicity and originality the malayali people are a dravidian ethnological group originating from the present day state of kerala in india occupying its south western malabar coast occupation of kerala people or malayali people fishing and farming are the main occupation of the people However, most of the skilled workers and college graduates leave the Kerala and go abroad, especially in the Middle East. This has caused a shortage of skilled supply in Kerala and resulted in inflation. Houses of Kerala, the traditional big house of Kerala was called the Nal Ketu. You can see the images of Nal Ketu in this slide. culture of kerala different societies have different cultures a culture represents the belief and practices of a group while society represents the people who share those beliefs and practices festivals of kerala onam onam is an annual holiday fair and festival celebrated in southern indian state of kerala temples of kerala Kerala has a lot of temples. Some of the prominent temples are shown in the images with their names. The most important one includes Sri Padma Bhaswami Temple of Thiruvananthapuram of Kerala. Thank you. Onam is the official state festival of Kerala. It is celebrated with joy and enthusiasm all over the state by Malayalis regardless of religion, caste or creed. According to popular legend the festival is celebrated to welcome king mahabali whose spirit is said to visit kerala at the time of onam malayalis make all the efforts to celebrate the festival in a grand way and impress their beloved king that they are happy to wish him well people buy new clothes and sweets during the celebration of onam so here are the girls of class 7th representing onam celebration with their dance the dance
culture of a place can be acknowledged from its art and dance forms. Dances are considered as the integral parts of culture of any region. Kerala, which is situated in the southern part of India and is popularly known as God's own country, has several dance forms. Kerala has around 50 forms of dances. Among these, Thayyam, Chakir Kuthu Kuriyatam, and Otam Thulal are some of the prominent dances of Kerala. Kerala is therefore popular for its two classical dance forms, Kathakali and Mohinatyam. Kathakali is an impressive form of classical dance which originated more than 500 years ago in the southern state of Kerala. Kathakali is a perfect combination of dance, drama, music, and religious theme. Kathakali is considered as the world's oldest forms of dance. Here is Shri Arora of Fifth B performing Kathakali. sensual classical dance form of Kerala called Mohinityam involves graceful movements. As the name itself says, Mohini means a maiden and Yatyam means dance. Mohinityam is a blend of Bharatnatyam and Kathakali. As it uses the elements of these dances, this dance is very elegant as it has gentle and graceful movements along with memorizing eyes. So here we have Mancha and Pragrati of class 8A performing Mohinityam. <laughs> Partin, the good 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 good